I'm Officer Salcedo with the 25th District, the um, Neighborhood Policing Initiative. I've been with the program for about over a year now. We started um, last January. The program itself has been, in my eyes, very successful. We've been able to really gain the trust of the community. I'm Officer Lopez. I'm also with the 25th District. Uh, neighborhood policing uh, initiative program um, and like my partner says it's, it's been it's been a great positive experience just being able to get out talk to people seeing their seeing people's reactions just bridging that gap building that trust between community and policing is what th this program is, is focused on and I think is doing a great job doing that um, it's very gratifying it's rewarding um, just to go out and see the positive feedback that the program is getting with us being out there. Yeah, right. and just moving from that, just moving away from that transactional policing, right? We're not coming to just give you a report. Um, we're not coming just to, you know, give you a pretty much a band-aid on your problem. We have time to invest in what the root of the problem is. Therefore, we're giving you more of a sustainable solution. So I think that's what differentiates us from the beat officers and I think the beat officers are amazing. They have to be there for us because they have to go to call to call, right? So we're just a different breed of officers that are able to invest in these problems. Therefore, the 911 calls do go down, giving us, giving the beat officers a break too within their tour. And of course, you were our first call yesterday when uh, we ended up getting the information. I know Dora reached out and Sarge reached out. We want to make sure that, you, you know, we always come to you for everything. Uh, that's okay. Because, I mean, yeah. I feel like I can rely on you and, you you know, I know yeah. you can always rely on us, so. Well, this, what, what's the oddest thing is that if we reflect back on the summer, because something happened down here. Remember when we first talked yeah. about Yeah, right here. Right, right before down, the, um, the fall of, beginning of the yeah. fall or something. Yeah. We had and the young then, man. Uh, actually, we had the... Uh, it was the lady that got robbed, remember, from the car, and then the yeah. shooting happened yeah. right there, like literally maybe a block away from each other. And people think that we don't offer anything else but just locking people up and chasing people. Um, I think this is a very good example of, of how we go out of our way as police officers on a daily basis to get resources to put the time and investment into this family that is really in, in, in major need and they lean on us as police officers. It's not, just a show, it's yeah. just basically to show that we wear different hats, right? right? And, and not just, just lean on, on family members, but they're actually reaching out to us and they see us as family because of the relationships that we have built. Why are they out here? Not get off of this corner. I'm gonna lock you up. You're gonna go to jail. You know, you're gonna get, you know, shot out here. It's more so of why are you out here and what can we do to help you? What is it? Just finding the deeper root cause of the reasons that they're out here selling or involved in gangs. Because as we learn, there's always something behind it and just offering them help. Some take it, some don't. Um, and that's all we can do is do the best that we can to offer them the different options and It's really up to them at the end of the day even if just even if it's just not giving people Like a solution right to their problem right away is more giving them the voice Allowing them to speak allowing them to say this is this is what's happening to me and I think a lot of times that's that's just 
even bigger than giving a report or even giving them anything else, you know, physically or, you know, it's just um, giving them voices. I think is one of the biggest things that we can probably do for a lot of the community. They just want to be heard. They want to be seen.